Okay, it is my plan to trim the rear feet on my dairy cow today. This is my Guernsey cow jelly bean. And her back toes are getting kind of long. So what I did when I brought her into milker was I put a piece of plywood down so I don't mess up my floor of my stanchion. Um, so now she's standing on a piece of plywood that I don't care that much about. These are the tools that I'm going to use. I primarily use the chisel and the hammer. Though the rasp is nice for rounding out edges and the nippers, if you can get the toe up off the ground, lift it up in the air, the nippers are much faster than using the chisel. But you can see her toes are a little long and it makes it difficult for her to walk around out here in the mud. What I just basically want to do here is take off that edge of the toe, that edge of that toe, and her other foot's not quite so bad, but same idea. You take these, the tips off here. That makes it easier for her to bend her foot over as she's walking, which means she doesn't have to lift her leg quite so much. And uh, cows are notoriously lazy walkers anyway. So I've got her leg tied back, which is kind of normal for when I milk. Just keeps her muddy foot out of my way as I'm milking her. So I'm gonna have my husband do this while I videotape and you can kind of get an idea of how we trim the feet on a dairy cow. All right. So, Good. you need to sit. Usually this is a one tap lift, one tap lift. Here she's gonna poop if you wanna get up. Oh. Here it comes. <laughs> she doesn't like my husband. <laughs> Every time he comes around, something like this happens. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh, they're hard right Let's now. Get it's impossible to get anymore. Hmm. And this doesn't hurt the cow at all. No, no different than trimming your feet. Just the, the smacking is um, probably nerve-wracking for her. Before you start the second one, could you before and after kind of? Yeah. Thing? A more. Um, let me take the inside, the inside pointing part off, just to round it off a little bit. Okay. Wondering what the other funny noise is. It's her, her calf's nursing his bottle, and now he's, up, he's making all kinds of sucky, weird noises. Trying to get milk let down on the bottle. Yeah, trying to get the bottle to let down more milk. Good luck with that, buddy boy. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me do it quick here. So you can see how now her toe is much shorter, so it's going to be a lot easier for her to, her to uh, manipulate herself through the mud and rocks and stuff that are in her uh, paddock. So and that's I, our goal. And the chisel, Wait, the, the beveled end goes toward the cow. So the beveled end, he says, the yeah, chisel goes towards the cow, so it splits it away from the cow. Good cow jelly. Just see her jump every time. Good girl. I'm angry. <laughs> There's actually professional cow hoof trimmers that go out to dairies and do this quite differently. They oftentimes put them in a sort of like a mechanical sling that flips them over on their side, if you can believe it. And then they have power tools and they can do it real fast. And you know, they, they know exactly what they're doing. But when it comes to just the home cow like this one, um, you know, we just maintain her feet like this. She's, I think six and a half years old. She's doing great. Yeah, that looks awesome. Do you want to lift them and check for nah. growth? No, nah. good. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. So this, with, you know, every cow's a little different. Some cows require more stuff. This cow pretty much just needs the tip of her toes taken off in the back. Usually, the fronts usually stay pretty, pretty good. Now that one's not tied back, so just be, she can lift it, move around more. Good girl. In that first chunk. Yeah, once you get the hard part off, you can like take little nibbles off of it. It's much easier. <laughs> so show them how you, if you push a little bit on her, she'll put her. If I put my hand here, push on her hip, knocks she... her a little bit off balance. And now she's got to put weight down on this foot. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't think about it. No, it's okay. That foot's not as bad, I don't think, as this one over here was. 
good girl. It's gonna be easier for you to move around. We do this probably maybe once a year. I don't know, maybe twice a year. Easy. She's picking up. Good girl. I got under her. A little bit. No, mm, not bleeding, but look at it. It's a weird growth pattern. Yeah. See the sole there sticking out? Just a wet line or it's a bruise. Yeah. Yeah. The older a cow gets, the more weird their feet get. Yeah. Just like, just like people. Just like people, <laughs> yeah. Their weight distributes on their feet over time and changes the shape of their hoof, the way the hoof grows out. You good? That you want to awesome. take more off this toe or? Maybe off the front. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Them up there. It's real thick through there. I think it can come down a little bit. Cows are really slow walkers anyway. And uh, this just helps her move a little faster because I can tell you, walking her around out here takes forever. They used to shod. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They used to put shoes on oxen. Because if you took a wagon train all the way across the prairie, you'd wear his feet out. Or his feet out. I like that. That looks good. That looks awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. She's being good. Yeah, it doesn't hurt her. She just doesn't like that initial. She shouldn't like being locked in with you. <laughs> it here. doesn't hurt horses either, but they kill millions, lots of shoers every year. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not about millions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may be exaggerating. A little bit, huh? Uh, do you want to take more off this? If you want to. I think, you know, I think we've got quite a bit of space there before you're into anything important. Ow, my face. This is jelly bean. Why are you jelly bean? Show me a dick and don't like this. You're a good girl. Where's your eye there? You're a good girl. Be smart. Get away from me. <laughs> Took a little bit off the inside. Okay. Awesome! Got a weird little growth going right there. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, I just already cut it off. You should do a video on our that goat. A what? The weird, with the goat. With the weird feet. The oh, goat that we caught. Oops. Yeah, found Good. the goat. Could have used in the barrel. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot it was up here. So there we go. Basically. That's what we're looking for. You can actually probably take a little more off right here. Where? I can't see. See this cut pulls in right here? You could probably yeah, go, was... go like yeah, I can do that. that. This is something we did every six weeks. Like I do more on the goats when they have problems. You wouldn't worry about little nibbles. But since this is kind of a big thing and it's a little more effort required, and we only do it once or twice a year, kind of like to take off as much as possible without you know causing any kind of discomfort so that uh, we don't have to do it again anytime soon. It's kind of akin to if anybody's ever been to the beach with flippers on your feet and you try to walk through the sand. Um, it's kind of hard, you know, how you feel like you're going to fall over. Just push I, on her a little bit. We're going to put her on her, that other foot. So oh, yeah. I'm just curious. Um, Good girl. Um, it's kind of like that, yeah, you know. She's got no hoof wall growth down yeah, there. Yeah, no, cows are almost all toe. Yeah. Um, at least all the ones I've owned. It's like walking with flippers on. You know, you feel like you're gonna fall forward in the in the sand. You have to walk real slow and like over move your your knees and your hips and everything. You gotta like overstep everything. So by taking the basically the flippers off the front of her toes, now she can walk a lot easier. And do the fronts or no? I, the fronts look pretty good to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, awesome. Thank you, Lance. You're welcome. Yay, and I know Jelly Bean, you're not thank thanking him, but ultimately, you're, you're thankful. There he is, isn't he cute? He just had his horns disbutted yesterday. So he doesn't have big horns when he grows up and tries to stab us and kill us. It's all scrap bar. Yes, it is, thank you. All right, thank you, Lance. Yeah. All right, bye. Anyway, so that's how we trim a, a dairy cow's, at least the back feet, um, here at home. If I were going to do the front feet, I would lock her in her head gate with the board. See her head gate's over here. And it can lock. And, sorry for the poop. It's been kind of wet and busy here. Um, she just calved a week ago. Anyway, these things lock like that. That little bolt rolls up, so her head's stuck in here. And so what I would do is I'd put the plywood right there and lock her in 
locker and the head gate here so our feet would be right there and I could work on them a little bit more freely than in the stanchion. The stanchion's super duper tight. As you can see, there's no room on the one side, only the one side, the left side has access to her and you can't get to the front at all because it's up against a wall. So anyway, that's uh, hoof trimming 101 on the farm. Go on. Yep. The end. That yucky stuff on our tail, by the way, is just from having just given birth. It's not a permanent fixture on this cow. There are little footies. Bend over a lot easier now. <laughs> <laughs>